He is known for being a Russian writer who was born into a poor family in St. Petersburg. He grew up in the home of an aristocratic family where he received an education and developed a passion for literature. Recognized for his contributions to the symbolist movement, his name is Fyodor Soligub. In the realm of Russian literature, one name stands out, Fyodor Soligub, a legendary writer whose impact on the literary world is profound. Born into a poor tailor's family in St. Petersburg, Soligub's journey to literary greatness was not an easy one. After his father's death, his mother became a servant in an aristocratic household, where Soligub and his sister grew up. Despite his humble beginnings, Soligub's thirst for knowledge led him to excel in his studies, and he became a model student. Determined to improve his family's circumstances, Soligub graduated from the St. Petersburg Teachers Institute in 1882 and embarked on his teaching career. Alongside his teaching duties, Soligub continued to write, publishing his first poem, The Fox and the Hedgehog, in a children's magazine under the name Ternikov. Despite feeling isolated from the literary world in his provincial postings, Soligub's experiences in the backwoods served as inspiration for his later works. Yearning to be part of the literary scene in the capital, Soligub visited St. Petersburg in 1891, hoping to connect with influential writers like Nikolai Minsky and Dmitry Mariskovsky. Although he only met Minsky, Soligub's sympathies lay with the emerging symbolist movement, which sought to imbue literature with deeper meaning and symbolism. Soligub's decade-long experience in provincial life would later prove invaluable when he wrote his masterpiece, The Petty Demon. Fyodor Soligub's life is a testament to the power of perseverance and the pursuit of knowledge. From his humble beginnings as the son of a poor tailor, he rose to become a celebrated writer in the Russian literary canon. His works, characterized by their profound exploration of the human psyche and the use of symbolism, continue to captivate readers to this day. Soligub's legacy serves as a reminder of the transformative power of literature and the importance of embracing one's roots in the pursuit of artistic excellence. In 1892, Fyodor found himself in the bustling capital, finally able to pursue his passion for writing. He took up a job teaching mathematics while working on what would become his most renowned novel, The Petty Demon. During this time, he also frequented the offices of Severny Vestnik, a prominent publishing house that would showcase much of his work in the following years. It was in 1893 that Minsky, a friend who believed Turnikov was not a poetic name, suggested Fyodor use a pseudonym. After much deliberation, they settled on the aristocratic name Soligub, with one L omitted to avoid confusion with Count Vladimir Soligub. Fyodor embraced this new identity, and in 1894, his first short story, Ninakina Oshipka, was published in Illustrator of Animir. Unfortunately, that same year, Fyodor experienced the loss of his mother. Undeterred by personal tragedy, Fyodor's literary career continued to flourish. In 1896, he achieved a significant milestone by publishing three books, a collection of poems, a compilation of short stories, and his first novel, Tyazali SNY. This novel, which he had been working on since 1883, is now revered as one of the pioneering decadent Russian novels. As the years went by, Fyodor's reputation as a writer grew. In 1897, he parted ways with Severny Vestnik and joined the ranks of the journal Sever, alongside esteemed writers Mariskovsky and Gypius. The following year, Fyodor's first series of fairy tales was published, captivating readers with their imaginative stories. In 1899, Fyodor's talents extended beyond writing, as he was appointed principal of the Andreevsko Municipal School and became a member of the St. Petersburg District School Council. Despite his administrative responsibilities, Fyodor continued to publish books of poetry, showcasing his versatility as a writer. It was in 1902 that Fyodor completed his magnum opus, The Petty Demon. The novel, which had been serialized since 1905, solidified his place in the literary world. During this time, Fyodor's home became a hub for artists, actors, and poets, with his literary group, Sundays, attracting luminaries such as Alexander Bloch, Mikhail Kuzmin, and Lyon Baxt. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.